Right then, I've got more FAQs for you. Now this is one that I get asked quite a lot really, probably more than anything, apart from what rods I use. And uh, so I'm going to give you a quick demonstration, you know, what, what lines and hook links and stuff I use. Now it's pretty simple really, I use a couple of, a couple of makes, uh, and it's pretty much what the first one that I mainly use all the time is Gardner, it's a target, target specimen range. Now, I think they only do it in £10 this stuff. They do, they do this particular braid, this is a braid this one. They pretty much do it in three different colours. You obviously got your gravel, your silt, you got your camo and you got your weed colour. And that's them. And that's the target specimen range from such as Garner Tackle. To be honest I can't really fault this stuff. I only really use this braid for if I'm boiling fishing for bream or for the T rig if I'm fishing for the tench or if I'm using I'll use a bunch of casters just for the flexibility. So that's what I pretty much use that for really. I don't really use a lot of it. The ones that I use the most of is obviously it's gonna be me with fluorocarbons and the fluorocarbons that I use same again it's from the same company, it's the same range, the target specimen range such as this one, this is the fluorocarbon it comes in three different sizes or four even this is, uh, I use the three, five, eight and ten right today I'm here at Linear for the ten fishing so I just use the ten the reason why I use, I use it, I've actually found someone told me about this particular fluorocarbon and I'll tell you what it is, it's never let me down it's very robust and it's uh, it's not expensive, it's not like a lot of them you know, it's about, I think about five quid for five, five, six quid for a uh, 25 meter spool. So, I had to tend to use that for when I'm using my maggot fishing, my helicopter rigs. You know, if I want something a bit more of a stiffer, see through, invisible hook link, and obviously it's the flu carbon. That's the ones I've pretty used there. Uh, I do have some IQ from Corda. Some IQ two, that's in ten. That's just just in case if whatever goes wrong, if I run out, uh, it's just it's just there really. I don't really. I always turn to the garden and stuff first before I use that. It's just an emergency if I need it uh, or whatever. And the other one, it's, it's just like more of a. If I need to step up a gear to go a bit of a heavier test curve for for whatever reason. Uh, the heavier poundage of line but link I will go to the uh, one stop shop that's a camo that is the uh, coated hook link that's the interrupt soft I think it is it's a camo one in £15 now I tend to use that one you know sometimes even on the river I'll use it I got it in camo because it's just easier in it you know that's how every colour silt gravel weed so it's that one stop shop for me pretty much is that one uh, I have some silkworm in eight pound. That's a good old classic. Is silkworm. I always have a spool of this in me in my bag. I tend to use that for if I'm PVA bag fishing, you know, or if I need to be really hit an old stuff with the method feeder. I use it on the method feeder. And that's pretty much it, really. And the uh, hook links. Obviously I've got lighter hook links, I tend to use the Drennan, the lighter hook links from a float of fishing, float of fishing. Then I've got like two pound, two pound uh, breaking strains, you know, a pound and a half, pound even, 1.1. Yeah, I've got all them for when I'm like bit fishing, rather than quiver tipping. It's pretty much horses for courses. There's one hook link I do use sometimes, I have a rig that I use. It's, it's if I'm margin fishing. I do fish for carp sometimes, I'll fish from in the margin. And I tend to use the old Nash trigger link. If I'm if I'm gonna carp fish in the margins. I just find it the elastic you know, because it's elasticated. You know there's PVA in there at the moment, but it, it, it's quite spongy, it's quite elasticated. And I think it's I think it's a good edge really in the margins when you you know you're stalking stalking big carp and what have you, but that's 
that is the only time I really use it. I, I do have another rig that I have concocted with it and uh, I will use a bit of this, say what, six inches. It's a bit like a hinge stiff rig, but it's I use this as a springy bit and I got at the end I've got a little, you know, a, a two inch fluorocarbon hook link, you know. It's just something different, isn't it? You know, I've, I've been playing around with it. I do use it for the bream sometimes. I've used it for the tench because at one time I was going through tench, I couldn't, couldn't bloody land and they kept dropping off. And I bought that and I thought, well, I'll try something different. And I bought that one. And that's pretty much it, really, for the hook links. You know, it's straightforward. Everybody has their own preferred, but that's what I use. I find it does me pretty well. You know, the garden, the specimen range, all four colours in the in the braids and I've got all four tests, all breaking strains in the fluorocarbon so yeah that's pretty much it I can't knock it it's uh, all serves a job so yeah there you are that's my hook links <laughs>